Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. 2019 has come to an end, and oh boy, what a good way to kickstart the new year. Look at this. I know you, a lot of you guys has been waiting to get your hand on this one. Pico Pix Max from Philips. Right, so um, for those of you who don't know, this is an Indiegogo project from Philips. It's a projector and uh, probably a lot of you guys have been waiting in uh, a lot of frustration because of uh, this Indiegogo project has been uh, delayed. Uh, I mean, I mean, we're supposed to get this from like before Christmas, but uh, now we are... Today is the New Year Eve of 2020. I got this thing in uh, 8 p.m. night, right? And uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is that I want to make a video like this to show you uh, this thing and to share with you the experience of uh, unboxing this thing and switching it on for the very first time. Let's do the unboxing. Alright, so first of all, you open up this box. Look at this. Woohoo! Let's take this thing out. Alright, so nice wrapping. In a very soft plastic wrap. And this is the box. Okay, open up this one. You can see the projector right here okay um let me see how do i open this up so right here just pull this thing off ho ho all right put this over here this is inner box well to be honest packaging is kind of nice I'm gonna put this away and um okay from the packaging of this thing it really got that uh, premium feel like um I mean this is sort of the thing that you would expect from a brand like Philips. So, nice wrapping. Ah, hear that? Take a close look at this thing. It's not light, but it's not too heavy, right? It's probably a kilogram or more. Build quality is, is quite good. Right, thank you. And let's look inside the box. Quick start guide. Okay. Nothing too tricky. Guess it should be easy to operate this thing. And um, well, this is how it looks like inside the box. Okay. I'm going to take out this thing. Right, so you have uh, the power adapter and uh, the converter. Right, and you have three small boxes over here. Let's look at a big one. Okay, so this is a pouch with uh, a battery and uh, I guess it would be a, it's a USB-C, right? One of the things that I really like about this thing is that it has USB-C, right? It's a bit more future-proof. A remote control. The remote control with the battery over here and last one I guess this will be the tripod yep three-leg tripod okay I'm gonna try it out this thing later 
let's look at this thing. I don't think it has power. Oh, no, it's charge. All right, let's see, right out of the box. You can hear the fan noise. And right away, you can see that. Wow. Well, the battery is full. All right, just nice for my review. All right, so um, I'm going to show you the image quality. From the spec sheet, this projector looks pretty amazing. It has native 1080p full HD resolutions and it can cast up to 120 inches. It supports Wi Fi and Bluetooth 5. It has USB C and HDMI for video input and it can hold up to 3 hours running on battery. It has a built in speaker and it's running on Android. This projector has an autofocus feature, but I like to say that um, it still needs a lot of improvement. 9 out of 10 times, it will require you to do some manual adjustment in order to get the best, sharpest image quality. For the brightness, I think it's pretty good. You can definitely watch video with this projector in your room with lights on. This is my room with all the lights on. And half of the light switch off. And then in total dark. This projector has auto keystone correction and as you can see here, it's quite amazing. But the sad thing is, it only works when you're projecting from different angle vertically. It doesn't work horizontally. I really hope they're going to fix this with some software updates in the future. On top of the projector is a touchpad. Tap to click and two fingers swipe to scroll up and down. Frankly, I will leave the touchpad to the last option if I don't have a remote control with me or a mouse. The reason is because it is quite insensitive and lack of the precision. As for the user interface, it has a very clean and it is very simple to use. As of now, I think it is still very buggy that I still see some glitch on and off, something that I would expect them to fix in the software update in the future. It currently supports 8 languages, as you can see here. Connecting to the Wi-Fi is quite a painful process. I guess there are some software issue here that causes it unable to find my Wi-Fi. I try to switch it on and off for quite many time for it to finally be able to find my Wi-Fi. 
folks on the internet has been complaining about the issue of signing in to YouTube. And this is what I found out. When you try to sign in to YouTube, the app will crash. The sound quality from this projector is okay, but it's not great. Definitely not something that you want to use to blast your song. K-pop! That is so awkward! <laughs> There's one feature that is really cool and I want to show you. It's also one of the key reasons why I buy this projector. And that is that it supports AirPlay from any Apple devices. You can easily cast your iPhone screen onto the projector, use it as a viewer for your photo, or you can play YouTube directly from your phone. And it also supports Apple TV. I try to hook it up with my wireless keyboard and it works flawlessly. This makes typing really effortless when you're using this projector. In case you're curious, this is a Kifcron K2 keyboard. I did a YouTube review for this keyboard as well. I'll provide the link in the description. And next, I try to connect it to a Bluetooth speaker that I have. Henry Cavill was announced as the man who would lead Netflix as The Witcher, starring on the Lauren Schmidt history-created series as the rugged monster hunter Geralt of Cavill portraying such a beloved character. Look like trouble. Dead wrong. I'm and lastly, I connect a wireless mouse to the projector and that make a full set of mini Android computer. Now before I end the video, let's hear out the fan noise as this is one of the things that I saw a lot of people on the internet is asking about. To me, I think the fan noise is bearable. You can barely notice it if you are playing some music or video. So this is my review for this projector. As of now, I'm not really sure whether this is something that I would recommend to anyone or does it worth the money? To be fair to it, I think I need to give it some time before I give my final verdict on it. I have an idea of making another video to talk about this projector after using it for maybe a week or two, which I would like to talk about things like battery life, the brightness at daytime, and some other things. So, if you have any ideas or any questions that you would like to ask about this projector, leave it in the comment and I hope that in the next review, I will have to answer those questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. More review like this is coming up soon.